These are the top five best recent phone trends. For a while, phones became stagnant, just glass slabs. Thankfully, companies are coming up with new hooks to make phones interesting again. Here are some of the best trends. And number five is foldable phones. We saw the Royale Flex Pi and it looked interesting. Then there was the Galaxy Fold, which looked pretty slick in Samsung's demos. Then there was the Huawei Mate X, which looked amazing. At first, folding phones seemed like a gimmick, but I think they are really going to fill a need over time. Folding phones should allow for even more serious apps for power users. Coming at number four is fighting the notch. Unfortunately, Apple made the notch popular. Lots and lots of Android phones ended up copying the look. Over time though, things started changing. Instead of the wide notch, we started seeing the teardrop style. Then there's Samsung's hole punch design, which is okay. Some phones went with pop-up cameras or even the Nubia X, which puts a second screen on the back so you can use the rear camera as the selfie cam. None of these are perfect, but we're headed in the right direction. And number three is wireless charging improvements. Wireless charging has gotten faster and faster. A downside is that some of these faster charging technologies are not compatible with each other. Then we've got reverse wireless charging. Both Huawei and Samsung already have phones that can wirelessly charge other devices. I can definitely see this catching on so phones can charge accessories like headphones and smartwatches. Coming in at number two, better low light photography. Over the years, we've seen lots and lots of camera improvements. More and more megapixels, larger sensors, image stabilization, and then even more cameras added to phones. Lately, we've been seeing low light pictures be a focus of phone makers. Google's Night Sight looked amazing when it was introduced. Huawei's Night Mode on the P30 is ridiculous. Anything to make pictures better will likely continue industry-wide. And the number one, better, cheaper phones. It used to be if you wanted a good camera, fast performance, and nice design, you were kind of limited to just a few phones and they were pricey. Now, you can get a pretty awesome phone for under $500. The iPhone 7 is still around for about $450. Then there's the Moto G7 for around $300. Nokia's got some great options. Samsung first introduced advanced features like four rear cameras on its lower end Samsung A9 before it hit the Galaxy S10. There has been some nice growth in non-flagship phones, which is a welcome trend. What's your favorite or least favorite phone trend? Let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.